fashion. Yeah, about, do I wear the belt? Do I not wear the belt? And I'll we'll show the belt. Do I put it over here? Do I put it over there? So she said, no, I'm just, it's fine I now. It's I too late. I've kissed the button. Too it's definitely so, too late. So this is it. I can't change it anymore, ladies. <laughs> so while they introduce us what we're going to do, I'm just going to get your comments up so we don't miss anyone. Okay, today we're going to introduce, in the correct way, the button through blogger. Because I think we need a bit of... A bit of inspiration on how to wear it, and that's what we're doing today. And that's why I'm wearing it. I think it looks pretty good. I guess I'll get your opinion as time goes by. I've decided to wear it with a cami underneath because I like it, even though I do have my other cami. Because what I wanted to show you what that's like with another cami underneath. I like it with the other cami underneath. Yeah. So I've got two camis on. Keeps me a bit warmer. Hi, and everyone. Shirt. Hi, yeah. everyone. Yeah, yeah. And I've got my more elegant shoes. I'm not sure that everyone likes my big clumpy shoes, even though they're my <laughs> But uh, so I like here we shoes. go. I, do, I like them. Yeah, I like them yeah, too. Yeah. <laughs> you know. But today I've decided to wear my more elegant style. Great. So the purpose of today is to show you all the tips and tricks to wear our blogger. So we've just had our new delivery of the button through. Um, and there's a few little extra things you can do when there's some buttons. So we'll show you along the way little ways and tips that you can wear it, which you can do with any button through oversized kind of floppy shirt. But we're also going to show you some outfits, um, not only how to wear the blogger and how it looks great, but also some little ideas to enhance the other items in your wardrobe, because this is one of those things. We always one do those that. secret weapons that yeah, you all we, need. We like sharing our secrets, so I think they work well. Absolutely. Yes. And maybe one tip to start with is how you put your things in your wardrobe. Somebody did comment. Mm -hmm. The way I like to set my wardrobe up is in categories. So I put all the blouses together, jumpers together, pants together, skirts together, and tops together Me and too. my knitwear together but it, obviously not together on the rack so that when I look I can pick a jumper and a skirt out easily or a top and a pant mm. out easily and then my coats are actually in another wardrobe so I need more length for them and it makes it really easy for me to yeah. get dressed every morning because I can see everything easily. If they were all jumped up, mixed up, thrown together, yeah, I'll tell yeah. you what, your wardrobe no, mess totally, up. totally, I do exactly so the do? same. And yeah. even like with all my tops, I start off with all the camis and then it basically gets to the wider straps and then it gets to the yeah. the teeth like you know the ones with the cap sleeve That's and then right. the longer sleeve and then the blouses and then i put all my shirts together and because yeah. yeah i was gonna say if it's not organized like that yes that's when you get confused because all your cameras get mixed up together, hangers go everywhere. It's got to be very neat and easy to see. So that's what you're getting at. Yeah, and you do that with your underwear as well, I know. I do that with my underwear as well. Organized. Very neat. Very um, organized. Yeah. And within that, if you had plenty, I'd put all my black things together yeah. and all my white things together yeah. and all my colour yeah. things together within those groups. And we've got a lot of clothes probably and I'm scared people. Yeah, we've got a lot of clothes. A lot of clothes. <laughs> and Definitely. once, I actually tried doing it differently. Once I tried to put outfits in my wardrobe, so I thought, oh, this outfit looks fantastic. In case I could get out to wear it, I put it together. You know, I've got in such a big mess. I've yeah, got yeah. that idea really fast. But one thing I do do often, which is really handy, if I've got some new things, which is most days, but all my like new things that I haven't yet gotten a routine of wearing them, because if I file them away, if it's not one that really pokes out, I can't see it. That's right, it gets lost. It gets lost, so I keep it like on the very edge of the corner where my mirror is, where I'm always hovering around, and I have a little group there just to remind myself, oh, that, that, like when I first got this dress, that sat there for a little while, until now I remember it, my mullet, so now it's gone in with the dresses. <laughs> yeah, I must admit, sometimes when I bring something new home, and I'll put it away in my usual filing system, and then I forget about it, and then one day, well, up there it is, and I think, oh, forgot about that, yeah. forgot to wear them, and I get really annoyed with myself, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. So there's some little tips. Mm. See, a little bit yeah. of an extra today. Got that one for free, didn't you? That's right. Oh, right. you can let us know how you pack your wardrobe as well, if you like. Yeah, Andrea, yeah. colour coding is really good, but I actually, I used to do colour coding, and I still found that, because I had so many categories together mm -hmm. in the colour coding, if I wanted to wear jeans that day, a kind of like all my yellow tops would have tops, jackets, shirts, camis, and it's like it wasn't quite, you know, but well, again, it depends how many things yeah. you have, I suppose. I've done, I've done it that way as well, and I find the easiest way is to keep the items together in, in uh, yeah, together in the wardrobe. Okay, um, you have to whip the label up and hide from husband, don't you? Yes, but my husband knows yeah. what I'm like. Yeah, so, yeah, husband. yeah, he wouldn't even. Yeah. And in fact, I don't like saying anything to hubby because the first thing he says is, do you need that? 
duh, of course I need it, but you know, you don't get them out of the way because they don't think like we do. So yeah, never, yeah. never Thing is, is your wardrobe to your hubby. And we often have like, we, women buy all these little things all the time and the clothes and the shoes and you know, all those things. Whereas like our husbands, there's just a really expensive they, item in the garage. That's theirs. But all of ours right. still doesn't add up to their one. Yeah. So I always remind my husband of that. Yeah, actually, I do have to remind my husband about that too because he's yeah, got yeah. some very expensive little pieces. Yeah, right? yeah, he's got a few yeah. of those. And mine will be clothes and yeah, yeah. shoes, which yeah. we love, and makeup, maybe, <laughs> and jewellery. Now, um, Samantha asked, where did Motto get its name from? Oh, I've okay. had this question a few times actually. We have. Oh, well, I'll tell you. I wish, it was, I wish it was a more glamorous story. Yeah, I know. Though. Look, yeah, I used to say that, and then someone said, you know what, it is a glamorous story. Oh, sorry. Just the way it okay. is. So sorry, darling. <laughs> yeah, I'd just come back from a trip uh, from Japan, and Japan was like the it country at the time. You know how we go through through history and you think, oh, yeah, anything that has a UK flag is amazing. Anything that has, oh, we haven't had it with the USA, but anything from a country is amazing. Well, at that point, when I opened, started the business, it was Japan and anything Japanese was awesome. Maybe it was when it introduced sushi to the world, who knows? And I looked and I wrote down, oh, I want something like Moto, M-O-T-O, -O, love it. And we looked at it and actually it was my husband and I, and I thought, no, I don't like the look of it. So I just added a T and it became Moto. <laughs> There you oh, go, genius, right? It's a great genius. name, isn't it? This lasted, lasted all this time. It's fantastic. There you go. Okay, okay. so let's get started. I Robert, and I noticed Robert's there. He's doing oh, some Robert. babysitting at the moment, isn't he? Yes. yes. Hi, Robert. Hi, Robert. Um, okay. okay, now let's get cracking. So first of all, we're going to start with the black silky blogger. Um, and this one just came in. So we're showing you the button through because they're brand new and they're not yet sold out. Often, I've actually, I've done the button, so it's easier to try. If we and non-buttons, mm, you might find your size isn't available. This is exactly the same. The only difference is it's got the button through, which the button through. actually can create almost a little bit more versatility if you know how to use it. That's what I think, even though someone did say, oh, when are you getting the regular bloggers in? After seeing this one, really, you've got to learn how to wear mm. everything we design. It's not the same. Everything's got a, a, a point to it, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So we're going to start with this. Yeah, great. Okay. Okay, so the main, you can pull them out, but one of the main, like, I think the, obviously it's a great shirt, right? We, so we know that. Shirt. But, oh yes, and you're the modeling all black, it. The all black is just amazing. We love all black, and what you would do is just add a belt. I've added a belt to, to my, uh, uh, I was going to say my body hanger, M me instead of the, the hanger lady Jane. <laughs> I think the belt looks better on Faye than on hanger lady. Yeah, hanger lady can't pull it off. So you can actually, I don't mind, look I'm just going to actually wear this all tucked in with the belt around. If you've got a waistline, do that, that would be awesome. It depends on how you feel about your legs. If you've got hot legs and a waist, that's what you'll do. Otherwise you'll wear it more like I'm wearing it. Yeah, I love that. And like all that. black. You know, all black. I love the all black. I think the all black is very hot, and you could do any pop of colour underneath. Because a bit like Faye's got on, she's got the shape. But I mean, the gold, the gold, so it's just amazing with it. I mean, I love what I'm wearing, but that's a different colour. And I think it? like the way Faye's wearing it is a really great example of how you can wear a button-through shirt if you're a little bit conscious of your tummy area, or a bit of muffin top area, or you know, a little bit of something on the hip. You can see Faye, I'll do this. Okay, I, I actually just want to say, this is how you don't wear it. And I just have the skirt on it. This is a really mumsy way of looking at it. I know you're going to say, oh yeah, I do that, but don't, because it's really <laughs> old fashioned. What you want to do is flip it to what I'm wearing. I yes. say something like, you want to add a bit of style. Yeah, you want to add, add a bit of style. style. Yeah, so I did a half tuck there. I mean, you can obviously button up a bit because I'm so short, I couldn't actually button too much because I wanted to show my cami. And I love showing the candy like this. So you probably flip it down here somewhere, do up a button. So Rough, just, and even roughly near the waistline or just yeah, below the waistline. Waist. And all I've done, of course, is just done one half tuck. Hang on. That way. Right. Oh yeah, you're right. Sorry. The one you wear underneath is the is the side with the buttons on. And then I've added the belt to give me a little bit more interest. Um, around my waist. And I also find if I've got a bit of a pot that day, and believe it or not, I do get a pot occasionally, a uh, little tummy bump, I add, add the belt to make me feel more comfortable. But also, just having this over the yes, top I agree, is not totally. making me conscious of any bloating whatsoever. Absolutely. You know, and it's only because I ate too much for lunch. Can I just say that? I had a very big bowl. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I won't tell you what I ate. I just had a salad, but it was 
This would be good. Anyway, yeah. now so, turn to the side. I want you to see, see there, you can actually have, so I'm going to wreck it a bit. We can have a bit more overhang oh, if sure. you want to cover it a little bit. I'll do that. I'll do that. You can do. So you can hide so many things. So Elle would you can say, oh, I'm conscious of this, conscious of that. This is the winner for that. So you can drop the belt. I've just dropped the belt from my waist being up here and throw a little bit more there. And because I'm wearing a skirt, don't worry about the toilet, ladies. You don't have to undo anything. But it's so easy. I'm going to show you how to unhook it all. Put the belt back where it was. So this is how it is normally. Just my cami worn out. I grab both together and tuck them all in there. And the fabric and just really collapses. Pull it out. So it doesn't have to be too perfect. And I'm not even really paying any attention of how I'm, I'm doing it. And it's so simple. And then left the belt up there. But you can always drop it down to wherever you feel more comfortable. And that way it makes it really easy. And it's kind of very stylish this way. Yeah. And again, Faye's created all these different proportions. Because she's got the length of the skirt. She's obviously got her knee, which is always going to be a point people see. Because you're bending it. Then you've got that length, that length, and then that. You know, like having all those different levels is what makes style. It looks like you know what you're doing when you're yeah. putting something together. And another little tip I want to say. I'm wearing my cami under there. Oh, a bit of flash there. What I'm doing is tucking the cow just over that cami and somehow it's kind of held it all day. Amazing. I quite like that. Hang on, I'll do it properly. Just get, grab a point and just go in there and that way it just holds a nice cow. Mm. See? Yeah, definitely. It is yeah. a nice cow. I'm hoping you like yeah. it. So, so you can do that totally with this outfit. Yeah, and you've really got too. my look and then I mean I would do it with these boots actually. I'd really rock these boots with that. But you can do it with sneakers, you can do it with even, oh I, I, actually I do have these. They're the black boots. Really nice. Love I rather that. like it with the gold slides. The gold slides is such a like high such end a look, hot isn't it? look. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. Such a hot look. Love that. And you can even do it with sneakers that Lauren doesn't like. Look at that. They're just the wrong sneakers. Do a sneaker more like I've got them. Okay. Right? Do Lauren's yeah. sneaker. Don't do these glitzy. They're a bit too sneaky. Glitzy. Bit, okay, they look too much like a sneaker. Yeah, they're too buy some nice sneakers so we can show you in the future, okay? <laughs> We're on the hunt for new shoes. I've had to go online and have a look. There's nothing so open, of course. I <laughs> couldn't find anything. So that's that outfit. And I just thought, as well as that, while it's cold, why wouldn't you put something like this over the top? And you see how that works so beautifully with all this here. And it's not like just ordinary. You know, you don't want to... You don't want to be ordinary. We don't want motto customers to look ordinary. We want them to look super stylish. And this yes, is the way of doing it. This is quite a stylish outfit, I think. Yeah, definitely. And I feel like this, when you do go back into normal life, this is a great dinner outfit, going out with your girlfriend's outfit, going on a date mm -hmm. night with hubby. Even going into the office, if you've got an office where you do need to be a little bit dressed up or a workplace, um, not everyone goes to the office, it's but yeah. Sneakers. Is that How too is dressed that? up? Not at all. No, but it's stylish. It's a cardigan jacket. It's, it's stylish. Just beautiful and sty yeah. Yeah. Right, stylish. I think you could easily do that with a jean to make it much more casual. Don't have a jean, but this is where we'd swap it over. So let's well, move on to the skirt. Off. It's not going to work with that. No, sorry. Yeah, right. and you could actually, this with a slide, the gold slide, hasn't that just suddenly become a so really summery look? Nice. I really look. love this. Absolutely. Yeah. And love you that do, too. You do the one half out, I'd say. I do but always you don't, do one you half You don't out. have to. If you, you're the shape with the hot legs, you can do it all tucked in the front. You can do a full tuck front tuck. Instead of a half tuck. Full front tuck. Um, and then the other thing you can also do is if you did hold on this for a second, can you hold Jane? Sure. Come here, Jane. Hold Jane. You can also do, if you are yes, that I'm person not. too, you can just do the knot. So all those tips and tricks we've shown you with the everyday shirt or the Dean blouse or whatever, this technically can do the same thing. Yeah, so you can do really. a low knot. Love that. And you could do that. And just, I'll just pull the pant out. That's so nice with the pant legs and so nice with the skirt. So nice with the skirt. Beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. Gorgeous. I'll come up close so you can see. So you don't actually have to have any buttons done up for the knot, but you also can. You could have it buttoned through to... To there, and if you my, wanted in to. In my opinion, if you wear it under a bit more like what I'm wearing, it's going to be cooler to wear, especially if you want to cover your arms. When it's hundred percent, I'm wearing my armbands. Okay, but it's yes. really comfortable. If it's you're fabulous. one of those people that's quite conscious of the tops of your arms, and you're loving this cami right here, but you're saying, but I couldn't wear that, or but I I have a big wide bra strap and I don't want to wear a sexy bra. Then you can still wear it. You can and still wear a shirt and put this over the top. So this fabric is so lightweight. It actually 
it's a it's a technical polyester, so it mimics the real deal. It's very breathable. It's not real sticky, silk. sweaty. It is beautiful. About. Yeah, it's just gorgeous. Love this fabric. And also, the other thing I love about this fabric, and this is in most of our silky and soft touches the same, and a lot of chiffons are the same too. If you want to wash it, you can just pop it in the wash bag. But once you're done with it, I get my wet garment and put it on a hanger on the yes, line. Yes. And just and dry just it flat with no that. creases. You don't have to iron it. I don't even own an iron. And it's, and it's a very quick dry. You'll find it's a quick dry. Oh, it dries literally yes. under a day. Not even a day, and it's cold. And it'll be done in like three hours. Yes. Want to move on from that? Sure do. So we'll put the cami away. And now we're moving on to our fabulous Bella dress, which is what I'm wearing. Yes, that's right. Lauren didn't wear the blouse under it, but you know, you can. No, and that should have show. I should have, but I probably should have organised enough. So the tip here, is and we only just discovered this from hanging out with you guys. That's right, when I just did it the other day. <laughs> Jane's getting dressed up. Put Jane together. So it's all those little layering tips and tricks that you might not, I mean obviously everyone understands how to just wear the blouse pretty much, but what you don't know is how to do it underneath all these round necklines or V necklines, have the little collar sticking out and also having the cuff do you want to hold this? Oh, yes, 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 I'll do that. I forgot about grabbing her sleeve. Because <laughs> that's again what shows that you've got real style. Yes, you've got to do something a little bit different. Samantha, yes, we're getting the motto wash bags. Um, but I think they're a, they're a good couple of weeks, like okay. maybe two months. I, I, time has just gone. Ooh. Because of COVID, pretty much around the world, you know, these things have just taken their But they are coming time. back. They are coming. Um, and Cheryl, I think that you asked what this black shirt was under here. It's the black silky button through blogger. Same, same as what Faye's same got same on. I'm so Faye's got the Sienna. Okay, what I would do as a fashionista, I would just undo the cuff and just leave it hanging down and really pull up the cute. sleeve. Really Very cute. fashionista, but if you're prone to wanting to do something different, you can easily cuff it up. Or you can actually leave them buttoned up and just even pull up and the just sleeve. pull it up in your yeah. case and pull up the sleeve and, and have it it'll stay because it's under up. there. All of those are very trendy ways of wearing it. Mm, yeah, now, you know with this, of course, what we thought we'd show you is, yes, you can do the knot with your dress. I may do that, shall mm -hmm. I? Yeah. And put the, uh, this is the booty lift pant. The miracle pant. That's not a button on the back. That's a security tag, which we, I forgot to remove. But if that's the booty lift, it has all those seams on the side, so it gives your booty a nice lift. And it's super, super comfortable, and it holds mm -hmm. you in. It's a bit of a corset. I'm going to hold that and I'll do the knot. Oh, well, actually, no one's wearing the knot. Maybe I don't need yeah, to. Yeah, I'll show you the knot. knot. So if you want to just shorten it a little bit, that's when you do the knot. But I have worn this many times, but not since we showed you in our live because I'm really into the knot at the moment. But I, you don't have to knot. I've got lots of other dresses. Knot. And I, don't, yeah. I didn't knot We're last not. year. So, um, but I just like the knot because it shortens it a bit. So I'm thinking when summer rolls around and it's getting hot, you'd probably leave it undone because you're not wearing a pant underneath. That's right. I just like it a bit short. You just want to make the most of it while you can right now. And Absolutely. that's how you can wear it right now. Now this miracle pant, winner, winner, winner. It is the best Gotta pant ever. If your size isn't available, we have two different styles. Mm -hmm. This one has the zip at the bottom of the back of the leg. If you're average height and you rarely have to get pants altered, you can go this one, but if you're really short, like me, you may want to go, go the one without one, which this. Is, which is, we will show you. It's well, exactly the no same. Different, exactly the same, it just has the plain legs. So that's how you do that. The long lady, long legged ladies go to the zip. zip. Even just average, else. like I think five foot core or above, you can do the one with the zip, no worries. But if you're shorter than that, you probably want to leave the zip undone a bit and wear a bit of a heel, which also looks great. But for the purpose of this outfit, I feel like it's not that much of a heel outfit. Okay. Oh, you know what? This is the best way. If you don't suit a colour that you really like it, like yellow, that I think... Great way to change it. Good this to change it. Oh, yes. I'll come up close so you guys can see. So you just get this little peekaboo coming there and... Oh, what? not wrong sleeve. sleeve. This sleeve. That's it. Cute, yeah? Mm. Yeah, very cute. It's a great way to change yeah. those colours on you if you're saying, oh, Amazing. I don't wear yellow. Yeah, yeah, this is like totally me. It's beautiful. Actually, the yellow is the only one I don't have. But oh, I now you I'm probably think about it. getting yeah. it. It's so nice. Said, it's only just come out. That's why I don't. It's only been out in a few days. Are we moving on? From We're that moving on. Here? So how good is that? So these are those little tips and tricks that you'll never know. And it only happened. I mean, we know how many ways you can layer it, but that specific combo only happened by default. I'm talking to you, ladies. That's so right. You're just so inspiring us as we're going. Yeah, we're very pleased with ourselves. You can also do the cool thing. Now, I like 
You can either do, you can do both actually. You know how to wear it underneath. So I'm going to throw it over the top. And you can see the nice look you get here. Oops. The best thing about the blogger, I think, is the length and the shape of the hem. Aside from the neck and the cuffs, these are all the special things. But the length of the hem is often longer than a lot of other tops. So if you want to add some length, is that something extra? you want to cover your crotch, you're really tall, you want to cover the booty, you just want a bit more coverage. I'm finding that the blogger is so good to wear under everything. Just adds that little bit of length. Like how nice is that? And it adds style. And we can just do the same deal with the cuff there. So nice. And adding a light pant with it is gorgeous. And you can easily add the dark dark anything. You can do the skirt and you can still do the other style as well because you're covering, you can toe in any case with this, mm. so you don't have to worry. Even this, like it probably doesn't look that exciting on oh, the screen, well, right? Because we've got a lot of black patterns. You, maybe you do a burgundy boot and also, mm. and then you've got something stylish there. Yeah, because it's just, the, the miracle pan also looks so cool with sneakers. Do you know what I mean? It's such a great weekend look. That's right, it's fantastic. How tight are the miracle pants? Karen, they're, they're meant to size. be quite tight. They're meant Go to be tight. Size. Now, Karen, I know you might have an, an apple shape, so the waist will be tight on you. Yeah, so if you wanted to go up, though, it would be okay, but you're not going to get that real suction hold. That's right. You're not going to get the grip of the pant, but it's certainly going to fit you. So they're not going to be the miracle pant. They're just going to be a pant. A pant. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I actually have the waist altered, which is going to be pretty hard. Yeah, but I actually bought a size 8 in the Miracle Pants, and I'm normally a size 10, although I wear the 8 in the jeans. So I kind of play around with the two, you even though I'm technically a 10. But if I'm an 8, Lauren's bigger. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And Faye can wear the 8 in these pants, and I do too, because I like them tight, because when I, I look like I'm really toned, because it's holding everything in so tight. And no I like jiggly that. bits, remember those jiggly bits? Oh, I don't want jiggly bits. <laughs> um, I found the Miracle Pants like a girdle. Oh, yes, oh, that's right, they're like a girdle. It's exactly what they are. They are, and they're designed to be that tall. They actually yeah. do soften, although yeah. they don't it doesn't lose take their long. hold. It doesn't take long. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it yeah. doesn't take long at all. Yeah. So, Samantha, if your size has gone in these, perhaps the one without the zip is available in your size. That's why we've got both. And they're both right. good. They're just they're check them both they're the same. It's just the zip. All right, anyway, this outfit with a sneaker would look super, super cool. Love it probably it. just doesn't look that special on the screen. I'll show you with the sneaker. Quite nice with the sneaker. Yeah. It's a good little casual look. And the blog is great because it's long enough to get away with wearing a pant that's sort of verging on a, a legging, even though it's not a legging. You know what, with those pants that you just need to be covered a little bit in the, the booty department? One of our, um, the ladies that makes okay. our jewellery, she's super, super funky. You might have seen her pop up here actually. Her name's Nella. She often wears the miracle pant with a cool sneaker and a really big oversized shirt. And she looks so good, and this is the perfect she looks shirt really to do. Can we just pop this under here? Yes. Just another way of wearing it. So you can see that even with a top like so, and you can do a bit of a knot there, it's still very nice. It doesn't have to be just a cami. Stylish. And the yeah, so jeans. good. So good. Just a nice casual outfit with your. With your sneakers like Lauren. Yeah, absolutely. Same. That's gorgeous. It just looks a bit more stylish. That's right. And then the last one that we want to show you in this group is how your chunky jumper still looks fabulous with it. Let's get rid of this. Let's say you don't like the wider neck shirt. I mean, the wider neck jumper, but you love the knit. This is where it really adds value. Maybe I'll take that hand away. way. I just want to up this button so I can actually. Oh, yeah. Okay. Especially if you've got a, a jumper that's a bit, it's a bit like wide on, hi Terry, it's yeah, I mean, a bit it's so wide, wide on the, you know, and, and it's fine, but you just think, oh, I wish I had a bit more coverage. This yes, is where this is that's what perfect. And then what you would do again is have the cuff out or just show the sleeve mm. like so, and maybe we'll pop this skirt with that. I'd put it with this skirt I'm wearing. Yeah, really. Cute. Really a great little outfit in yeah, half tuckle or not. Definitely. That is so nice. And then, actually, hang on to that. I think I'd like to keep this with slides or sneakers. Yeah, nice. White sneakers or slides. Yeah. Or just outfit. Yeah. This in is, fact, I'd wear that. I yeah, like me that. too. This is, this is really, it's the difference between having style and just wearing clothes. But, yeah, do you, you don't want to be a sack, okay? You want to be stylish. You want to be stylish. You can't just be throwing something on. It doesn't matter. You know when, like, 
This is just throwing it on though. That's what this jumper and feels shirt like it is. It feels it's just like throwing it, is. it on yeah, but in a, lot a very people, stylish way. A lot of people wouldn't know how to make it stylish. Like well, you know when some you are telling me right now. Yeah, we're yeah. Just, like you're in our sisterhood, yeah. right? Yeah. But you can go and spend, like just you can go and spend a million dollars in a store and it can be the fanciest store you've ever seen and you still don't quite something it doesn't work. Weird. But then there's doesn't people work. who can go to an op shop and just style it just amazing. This is the difference. If you use our little tips, you're going to be that lady that looks amazing. Yes. Right? That's Especially seeing you know where to buy them now. It just makes life easier. I said to Lauren, you know, anyone can go on YouTube or anywhere on Google and just hunt out whatever, however, or whatever it is to do a capsule wardrobe. But you know what? The biggest hang up for me is where do I go to buy this stuff? Mm. And at least now we're making life really easy for you. You don't have to worry about that. Mm. Except for shoes, I've got to say. Yeah, that's what I need to hunt out. Yeah. Sorry, I still can't find them for myself, so don't worry. <laughs> I need to go overseas. Ah, okay, right. So that's there's it. the look of a big jumper. So yeah, if you've got if you've got a big jumper that um is you feel like oh it's a bit short, I wish it was a bit longer. Anything you say, I wish it was a bit longer. You just need to put a blogger underneath, whether it's the button through or the one without the buttons. And but the same for is a bit more versatile. Yeah, I think so. And. The neck as well. If you want something, oh, this is just too wide for me, pop a shirt under it, you'll find it'll actually fix a whole lot of those things. Yeah, 100%. Or change it. Doesn't it absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so that's the little black. So that is your first group shown. So a little capsule in itself again, because that's absolutely. how we work. Absolutely. So a lot of you might be thinking, oh, yeah, but I don't like that colour. So we're going to show you a few different coloured groups using the same principles, and you might get some extra hints in there. It's a one stop place, girls. Yes, Samantha, thank you. Well said. We're a one-stop shop. Yes. Judy, not clingy. Are you talking about the shirt not clingy? Definitely not clingy. It's this quite baggy. Yeah. It's what Faye's wearing. Well, I'm wearing it and this is... I haven't done anything. I haven't sprayed it. I haven't done anything. This is it. Mm. Skirt's not clingy because it's double lined and I, it's got a grip anyway. So this is all mm. how it goes. And, and I'm a shorty, so it's great for shorties. Um, yeah, no, you wish it was a bit shorter, Linda. No, you know how to make it shorter. You do a front tuck and you pull it over so you've got a ledge at the back. I can do that with the next one for you. Yeah, definitely, that. definitely. In fact, the next one is the colour I'm wearing. Maybe I'll do it now. Okay, so we've got to <clears throat> just take everything apart. Maybe I'll leave the belt. Okay, so this is how long this is. You don't want to worry about... Actually, a good way to do it is just to fold it a little... Oh, I might as well button it up, actually. Maybe I should take off the belt because it's going to be easier. While Faye is getting that organised, for those of you who have issues with static garments, like you put something on and it goes and shrinks into you, um, the best way to fix that is just to put your top inside out, give it a spray with a cheap hairspray and you're done. Okay, Easy. What, what you want to do is hang on to that and fold it in half. Not fold it in half, just fold it, right? You've got a bit of excess fabric because it's quite long. This is for the shorties. And then you just tuck that in there. Go along, keep it smooth. I didn't do that too well because I'm not really watching. And that's it. Doesn't matter that this is hanging there anyway. Now that's how long that gets, but if you want it even even more shorter, shorter, is that good English? It's a lousy English. What I would do is undo it. This is again for the shorties, although you may find that you might like to do this in any case, just as a bit of a tester. What I like to do is to make sure I grab quite a lot of the fabric. So I'm making that quite tight and I'm wrapping it over and then I'm tucking it in there like so and tucking it in. And that gives you, well, I didn't do that very neatly there, but if I did it, you get the gist. Oh, you get the gist. And what you want to do is bring that up and that has brought yeah. it up a heck See, of a lot. sitting up that much. Itself. Look at that, it's brought it up. See, all that. And that looks fabulous. Yeah, it does. Look I think, and it looks very stylish. You want to wear it with, I mean, if, if, you can still do this buttoned up and basic, but I'm not that girl. I'm not that basic girl. Can I just say that? So you just wrap it around like that and you've got this stylish cami on underneath and you've got it quite short. I'll leave it like that for a while now. Okay. Yeah? Yes. And that's good. Great. You just okay. want to neaten it off inside too. Yeah, great. Um, okay, great. So here's a few tips on how to style the Sienna using similar principles, but I'm sure we'll think of some new things as they're going. Um, so, oh, okay, option so one I'm, with a cami. This is option one, it. exactly the way I have it, so we won't probably have to go over that. And I really like these colour combos, because you probably wouldn't think that when you're seeing these online, oh, do they go together, do they not? But I think mixing that tonal concept, yeah, like so that tonal you, look is sensational. It's like a pale pink and the sienna together, it's gorgeous. Um, so I'm wearing the skirt, which I won't bother showing you. You can do it with 
Yeah. 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 We'll try and make it look like you. Well, unless I'll just hold it. Unless I'll just do this. Do I just do this? Okay. Okay. Well, I've done it now. You're done. Okay. Thank you. I'm just thinking as well, you could you could do it like Faye's done and she's got no buttons done up, or you could even do it a soft knot. Actually, even doing a soft knot will also bring up the ledge the tighter you do your knot. Okay. Just I'll do that. Shall I do that? Shall I do that? Shall I do that? If you want you to. do that, and I'll show the ladies. So there's there. a bit of fun. Like, this is your fun, friend. This. Okay, I'm going to unravel myself again. You probably want to... Actually, I kind of like it hanging down. Lauren said that it doesn't look like that on other people. But I See, we workshop everything. <laughs> But I'll be like, oh, we can do it like that. I'm like, no, 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 Looks great, yeah? And this could you could be wearing jeans, you could be wearing a skirt. I'm actually liking it like that best. Yeah? I'll leave it yeah. like this. Yeah, I love this. I probably would have to take off. Yeah, yeah, take oh, the belt off. Shall I yeah. take it? No, I get it. Take the belt off. I'm right. showing you now the little, look yeah, at our little life right. model. Taking Jane's job. <laughs> Poor Jane's going to get the sack. Oh, Poor dear. Jane. Idea. So Jane could, if Jane could work herself out, Okay, you know, there having, you go. having that a, a bright pant underneath would be just as fun. And you can just do a slide. I mean, how summery and fun is that outfit? This is a cool That's outfit. That's like, I'm ready for the summer. I've got style. It's Thank great. you very much. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. really cool. Awesome. So that's that. That's but that. But it still looks good cool if you don't want to have that check pant. Well, I might look over this for something else. Okay. Okay, so then getting on to something like this. Yeah, and let's actually put it underneath. So let's do see. that because otherwise you won't get the So twist. again, if you've got a really oversized top, and often our oversized tops usually, like in some cases, you can't make them long because you look like a big old sack. So you've got to have a little, have a little bit shorter. Because a lot of like sack, a big old sack. I don't want anyone to be a big old potato sack. That's not fun. So <laughs> yeah, that's good. Like, so that's if you want to add a little bit of length, you have to be an old sack. <laughs> yeah, no, oh, no, oh my goodness. You know, we're getting to that time of the week. Yeah, um, yeah, then you can add right. a little bit of length underneath. So if you just, you know, when sometimes you just want something to be that much longer. This well, is just perfect. Hang on to Joe while I pull the sleeves. I've done that back uh, in front. Got actually, the, the collar. The collar will actually come through. Yeah, let's get rid of this hanger. It's because of this hanger. Yeah, I know. I oh, know. Sorry. I didn't do that very well, did I? Okay, that's better. You know what? Now one day, if we're ever allowed to have a third person in here, we're going to make Kelly, who most of you know, who's an amazing superstar. She's our stylist. She's our head yeah, stylist. Yeah. We might even con Marion, but I think that everyone wants to see Kelly, right? We're going to style her. That's right. We're going to style yeah, her in public. Are you listening, Kelly? Yeah, well, yeah. I think Kelly's she's just run for the hills. Yeah. Yeah. She's run for like them, their hills. <laughs> okay. So that's kind of... All you need is that little mm. touch underneath. It's don't cool. expect this great big piece like I've got necessarily. And then the cuff and then the collar. And adding... These are the earth pants. It's an amazing outfit, baby. Right? I love the earth. With and the then, oh, I'll just show you with the sneakers. I love it with the pink sneakers. We're still in ISO thinking here. Or a burgundy boots. Whoa. Oh, yeah, that looks Love hot. with the burgundy that looks boots. Awesome. Great hot outfit, ladies. And these are the jeans that I said have the thinner waistband. You know how yesterday we were talking about the thin... This, the smaller waistband, that's the longer leg, and it's the wider leg. But so the tall ladies. if you want to show off those hot pins, you could do a miracle oh, Yes, that looks really good. And a sneaker. Sexy pins. There we go. Pins. Even though it's black, it still really shows them off oh because God. of the uh, big blob of colour on top. And then of from the back, then you've got your little zips. So nice. Showing. It's cute, yeah. yeah. It's really cute. And I'll do that with the sneakers, yeah. I'm actually I'm really jealous of those tall people that can use the zips. Too. Yeah. We we want three inches, okay? Yeah, I'll take three inches. Yeah, totally. Okay. Alright, cool. Then I won't I won't I won't do this the spoiler and show you other things later on. Oh yeah, that looks really cute too. This That's a great be, summer look. It's a great casual, yeah, very casual summer. Outfit. You know what? When we were talking the other day about how it's hard to find a really wow casual outfit, this is this the is wow. Out. Yes. You know what? Because often you go boring colours when you go in casual, and you don't need to. Why I would you? Why would I, you? And I think sometimes you kind of just throw yourself together. Just I'm just sneaking up the street to go to the supermarket or whatever. You know what? Why would you do that to yourself? Do it in style, yeah. baby. The thing is, there's no because difference. Because it's for you. It's exactly. not for other people. Exactly. Yeah. 
And there's no difference to throwing on a bit of colour, to throwing on a bit of black. you just got to have in your head the outfit, and that's what we're here showing you. That's right. Yes, Heidi's Heidi, a little one, like, yeah. You can definitely do what Laura Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Heidi, you're, you feel me, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're going oh, on to some great right. option. This is a perfect example of when you're going to say, oh, I'm going to buy a top and, oh, you know, it's short, too short. Yeah, short tops work for certain things, but if you want to be able to wear them with everything, this is all you have to do. That's it. And again, you've and got... it's such a cute, funky little outfit. You've got the, um, yeah, the quirky collar and you want to have that cuff hanging out because that's sort of... I don't know. Grabbing sort of the cup. A bit of special, I'm grabbing it. Special vibe. Oh, I'm grabbing it. Much easier to put on yeah, than wearing it. Really I don't want nice. to show off quite a bit of it. And then again with the earth pant here. That's nice. But I also like it with the gown. Love it with the gown. It's just a cute little funky, closer looking garment than the big one that we just showed you. It's kind of cute. Or of course cute. you've got your... I mean, jeans are going to look amazing too, but... With everything. We'll, we'll start showing you how to wear jeans when we get more of ours, because... We've collectively decided there's nothing worse than showing people something that they can't actually get if they want it, so that's why we're not doing that. Otherwise, we'll be showing you jeans. Okay, so we're moving on from that. Whoa. Oh, this is fun, yeah? It is fun. I love the combination of the green one. What about this one? Yeah, 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 yeah. Answer? Yes. All right, so now we're going to do the double shirt. Yeah, I'll undo a button here. The double shirt trend is rather, rather cool. Yeah, that looks amazing. I love, what I love shirt. about this is that it, that the white shirt is a three quarter sleeve, and the Sienna shirt under and usually you'll is a buttons. long sleeve. So you get that really fabulous long part hanging down here, and that's what's funky about it. That's what's really cool. What's happening? It's going to do the button because oh, obviously yes. the underlay you're going to have a button done up that you're not showing. You know. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you want to be my, and you can also with this shirt, as you know, being the everyday shirt that Lauren just loves, what you can do with this is tie a front knot. You knew I was going to say that, didn't you? I thought so. Oops. Oh, she's getting undressed. Lucky she's fully clothed under here. I've got to say, I love this white fabric. It's beautiful. And they're both really silky and collapsy, both of these fabrics. They're, they're similar, but a little bit different. I um, love that. Yeah, love totally. That. That's so nice. And you can do that 100%. with your gingham. So summery, look at that. Very, I love that. Ooh, I absolutely that love that. That's amazing. So I have to put the Even bit. when you're going on a holiday, which no one is, but if you're going on a holiday, like this is totally the kind of outfit like that I would wear with a strap of yeah. Totally, yeah. I'm going to Sorrento wearing this as soon as I'm allowed to. So nice. Lovely. Definitely. We love it. I won't bother with anything else. Even the gold slides. Yeah, I mean, have to show it just because we have to. Oh. We like this. Amazing. So that's that's a no-brainer. Now, lastly, we will show you what the... Well, we can show with the jacket, then we might as well show with the dress. Yes, I think so. So I'll pop that. And then we've got our little um, check-me-out jacket. Again, a few sizes missing it's, in this one. but it's, Look, it's just a cardigan. So it's a fabulous piece, especially if you're going to be just hanging around the house in a casual way. It's gorgeous. I want to show some of this actually. There we go. Just so you can get the gist of the colours. Mm -hmm. And when you need so to be nice. a little bit more Hard smart, tart, casual, or worn like this, beautiful. Maybe I should put that on. Is that my size? Yeah. I don't know. Probably. Look, it's a ten. Maybe we make it work. Size. I don't know if I look good in this being the size that it is. But it's kind of funky like this. Oh, yeah, it is too big. Okay, so I've got to zhuzh it up. Zhuzh it up. Look. Yeah, 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 it doesn't. Yeah, I love the double pink underneath. That's awesome. Yeah, I love that look. It just looks so nice, doesn't it? So when you start yeah, building your wardrobe and you're getting a few of similar colours, you'd add that piece later. And because you've got a few different tones of pink or if you had a few different tones of green, you're going to be able to get this, this matching sort of look. It's not lined and it's super stretchy. So this is where it gets really comfortable. Like it. It's a very flattering shape. If you're the pear shape in particular, Ooh, yes. actually, I've seen it on so good. many app, more apple shapes. I know, shape with I know. It looks so good. Um, but it's just made for the pears. So that's what you're going to get. If you're going to do a black blogger, this is just a wish. Show you the black and white check pants underneath, perhaps. Oh, yeah, cute. That's really cute. You can do your knot then. I would do the knot if you're going to wear that shirt under it, don't you think? 
Yes. Cute. I think so. Really cute. You can I'm certainly do so. your black. The black girl, definitely. Miracle pant. Still yeah, really nice. nice. Like Lauren's wearing. Yeah, so yeah, cute. yeah. So nice. So as you can see, it's just that little bit of cuff and a little bit of neck. And is it really cold? Cool? Yeah, yeah, it's alright. It's alright. Yeah. Yeah. I'd probably be more inclined know. to then do another shirt on top, the everyday the shirt. That's what I'd have to do. Yeah, well, but you know what? You know, what? You you know sometimes when you wear black and you need just a bit of colour around your face, it's almost the same as wearing a scarf that really it's suits you. Yes. you. Yeah, or the necklace, exactly. You're going to have your, your blogger in a colour that really suits you, and then you can wear black because it's going to go with a lot of things because it's your neutral. Gorgeous. Actually, that whole thing with the necklace would look amazing. Okay, mm. okay I'll grab the necklace. necklace one. Grab a necklace. Because if you can get your three exciting bits happening up here, you've got it sorted out. That one? We'll try this one. I don't know if we've got this one still available. Well, that doesn't matter. It's it the just, idea. You get the idea. Yeah, you get the idea. Even if that was a bit like that. You can have a little play. You can have a little play, but doesn't that whole concept just look that little it bit more interesting? It just makes it rich. It does. And it's simple. It's so yeah. simple to do. That's right. It's just really just throwing something on that's a little bit extra. It's that third piece in any case. All right. So that was group number two. Um, and you can probably see most there of how to add length to a shorter length top. I think that was the... That was the gist of that. That was the gist of that. I didn't actually show you how to wear the bag with it, but that's fine. We missed out. That's all right. That's okay. okay. Everyone knows how to wear a bag. Does everyone know how to wear a bag? Yeah, I think Jane would have seen it. I like to make it over Jane. You know, I like Jane to have a, you know, Jane's got a lot of places to go, obviously. I like showing, showing you where, Jane wearing it. Okay. Oh, I love this colour. This is so pretty. I've got to tell you that this is one of our best selling colours. Can you believe that? It is awesome. I think it's, it's because a lot, of our, a lot of our ladies, you know, you're quite it's gorgeous. Pretty, it's pretty, pretty tone. So this is for the pretties. This yeah. is for the pretty girl. Yeah. yeah, even like me, I love a bit of pink, as you probably know. So I didn't realise well, how much I wore pink. That's right. I mean, this year's I actually used to been wearing a lot of pink. pink. I don't know why. And I'm sort of going pretty too. This is pretty for even, me. Yeah, it's very, very pretty for you. More grungy edgy. Yeah, so definitely. this is pretty definitely. Okay. So, but even if you're not into the pretty looks, you can still balance out and make it a bit grungy with a pair of shoes like Faye's wearing her sort of rocker chick shoes, you know what I mean? Or your leather skirt, that's a bit more rock chick. That's right, just pulls it into your personality, which you want to do. Mm. Heidi, Jane is getting all the attention right now dressing up, I know. She's very popular. <gasps> She's got so many things Jane's to hot. do. Jane's hot. Okay, well, look, there's no reason why you shouldn't bring in your fabulous knitwear that you've had for the past couple of months in with this sort of stuff because we, it doesn't go from cold to hot. Normally it doesn't, you know, there's a bit of a, uh, an in-between period and that's where you need to mix some of these things. Can we actually, can you be the model for that one? Sure. I feel like it would be a great model. I reckon I should do Yes, this. it's going to match you so much well. Does oh, that matter? Mm, all it's right. going to be huge. Okay, well fine. You can put it on your own. I don't know, is it going to be huge? No, it'll be alright. I'll do it anyway. You have to fix your shirt first. You have to, oh, you have to okay. sorry. Un unravel everything. <laughs> Hang on. I'm just, being dressed by the daughter. We're just going to... Okay, that'll do. Alright, we're just going to do one more button. Yeah, okay. So again, this is an example of a top that is a bit shorter in length. And look, we've got to have all these different lengths in our wardrobe. That's how you're going to get a bit of depth and proportion, and you can really play with it to your advantage. So this is a 12. That's so a 12 it's actually top, a bit so it's a bit big. Yeah. Oh, should I put my sleeves down? I should. I've got my armbands on. Okay, you're really making Sorry. it hard for me, darling. Sorry. That's okay. Jane's we'll just losing this. her job. Oh, I think Jane should have done this one. Never mind. I'll just pull the cuffs down. I love this look though. Yeah, I really like that. I actually like the 12 on you, I've got to say. I've got to really... say, I might have to get the 12. Yeah. Let's skip the 10 now. <laughs> See you later, 10. It's in my wardrobe already. And I'd have that just hanging down like yeah, that. Yeah, so if you're actually wearing the 10, I reckon it's going to be around about that length if you have the right yeah, size. That, that's on. right. That looks cool. That looks super cool. And the match is like perfect. The colours are the same. I will do this, ladies. I'll you do could this totally. So well. If you want to do a bit tonal, this colour would look amazing. And actually, yeah. I don't really want to put that on my. No, you so don't just have to. imagine it. Yeah. All, all that, the colours would match. All the colours yeah. would be put under something yeah, like this. Definitely. Just like the yellow, I've got to say, I'd still do yellow. Oh, yeah, I like that. That's pretty. So pretty. Really or with pretty. the garment I'm wearing. Really, really pretty. Yeah. That's just a look. You want to do your chunky jumper. Yeah. With a soft, silky of some sort. And then you want a tight bottom. bottom. And then your tight bottom, whether mm -hmm. it be a skirt or a pant. That's a cool look. Like yeah, it's definitely. A very cool look. So Faye right now could easily be wearing her miracle pants with runners, her sexy tube skirt, which is just taking what I'm doing to the next level. 
I could do my runners, but guess what? They'd have to be about this high, otherwise I'm not wearing them. That's all those people that didn't like my chunky shoes but yesterday. If you, if you quite like a bit of fun, the gigan pants yeah, would look amazing with that yeah, outfit as well. It would, it would look so fun. In fact, that's a cool outfit. Very cool. Very, cool. Love very, it. very cool. Very cool. Yeah, I like that. Looks like I'm taking this home, so yeah, okay. I'm going back to So one less size 12, ladies, that we don't have. Okay, so now we'll show you just a few other ideas again. These are just other colour combinations so Jane, we've shown. Jane is back on track. Jane, we can't lose Jane. No, Jane Jane's too fine. valuable. No. <laughs> Jane, Jane, she doesn't eat valuable. much. She doesn't cost much actually either. And she doesn't have to wear a mask. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we love Jane. Oh my god, that is so pretty. It's, I love that. This is, it. This is meant to be for the pretty look. Oh my god, I mean, you can make it whatever you want, but it's so pretty. Is it difficult to walk in the tube skirt? Oh, no. My god. Okay. <laughs> I could do my yoga in this skirt. Go and do, do your downward dog. <laughs> oh my oh gosh, my gosh. <laughs> Did you see that? They didn't see that. No, they did. You can see it. No, you can see it. Oh, you can see it. Okay, well, no, Don't see worry. It. I can do my cross legged yoga move. There you go. Do <laughs> your tree. Your tree. Oh, it's a tree. Tree. Yes. tree. tree. Yeah, well, I don't know. Something like that. I haven't oh, got I've got my heels on. I can't do it with my heels otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> I can't got my bum in the air. I don't look very elegant, ladies. Did I say bum? Whoops, booty. Okay. <laughs> don't worry, it's stretchy. What can I say? <laughs> I can climb a ladder, climb the stairs. Okay. Okay. So here's the other um, example. This this outfit would look really cute with a white pant, but love it with a check bow. That's really cute. That's, That's super really cute. cute. Oh my god, I love it. Isn't that gorgeous? It's cute. I'll come up close so you guys can see the colour combo. So it's it's like yeah, so it's not an exact match. No, it's, but not, it's definitely so pretty. not an exact match. But this is such a good way to add length to this jumper. I mean, I, I love, love this jumper. Yeah, that's what short. I have to do. I would do that even though I'm short. I think it's got a lot more style to do it I like so this. Too. I reckon too. I reckon too. Cool. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> No, is it my laughing? Yeah, we're, laughing. Oh my God. Sorry, we're a bit delayed. Yeah, just a, <laughs> we're yeah, laughing there yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah awesome. Nice. So that looks great, right? Looks fabulous with this label. Oh yes. Nice with that. That actually looks like a great, like that's really good for now. Whereas you know, the Ingham pant with this outfit yeah, is really good summer. for summer. I've got to say, this pant, I think it's called the Windsor, isn't Winter. it? Yeah, Winter, yeah. Because of everything. Yeah. Everything we put it with is just so cool. Totally. It's fantastic. 100%. Yeah. I'm just seeing what else we could do. I mean, that, I love it with that. I love that combo. Yeah, that's amazing. Everything you put it with. Yes. And even under like the yellow, yeah, the green, 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 yellow green. dress. The green, it's just one of those pants, right? If you're, if you're not that gay and wearing a wild pant, this is the best mm. printed pant. I tell and you, you can still doesn't do matter about your shape, this is a really good one for you to go for. And you yes, can still gorgeous. Do that. Yeah, definitely. I actually have those, believe it or not. Okay. What? These? Those, I just haven't worn them much. Yeah. Anymore. I know, I feel like yeah, but they kind of escaped. That's why I know what happened. That's I think I didn't jump out of the wardrobe. Yes. Today. Yeah. Okay, fair, fair enough. enough. Fair enough. Okay, so okay. there's this set. So oh, now we can no, take before her apart. Before you take her apart, this is where the baggy pant goes really well. Look, you've got when you ladies, if you're going to buy the baggy pant and you're going to try it on, let me say try it on with everything. Get your highest shoes if you've got short legs. Put on your beautiful sandals if you're long legs. Wear it with the right thing. Fill it all up. Don't just try it on and say, oh, don't know about this pant. Because if it's something new to you, you need to zhuzh it up. You know? yeah, Otherwise, working. you're not going to be able to get the message. Yeah, yeah, anyway. yeah. So this navy looks sensational. I just want to go oh, yeah, close. Navy with this colour is just mind-boggling. So look at that. Beautiful for the cool lady, actually. You need to put yellow in there if you want. Actually, I'll show you. If you add yellow, you've got it for the warms. Oh, my God. Oh, that, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that shirt and yeah. the pants. Look at that. I love gorgeous. that yellow. That sure yellow in the navy. Even it's the gorgeous. yellow front tucks into that navy oh, pants. Yes. I'm going to do that. Oh, I love actually, I think you should do that next one. That's so amazing. Sensational. Look How at that. hot is that? And yeah, I do it as my jumper. Oh, love that. I love it. I'm I getting that I'm, yellow jumper I'm off just cool. Yeah, I've already been thinking about that. I love that. Yeah, can, I, can I talk? <laughs> <laughs> Aren't we cool? Aren't we great? Anyway, uh, it's okay. I just want to have a word. Can I have a word? Uh, it's yellow. It's just... <laughs> Zip. It's okay. Usually people tell me to shut up. It's okay. All right. I'm allowed to have a turn to go This will look amazing on you, love. <laughs> Fantastic on you, as this would. 
when you want to have your pretty day, that's fantastic. Okay. Did you want to Done. say something? No, nah, not okay. But I did see some people asking about this pan. I think you were asking about this. I'm just going to let you guys know what it's called. It's called the Windsor. So W I N D. N-D-S-O-R, if you want to search that word. The Windsor Bengaline V Pant. It sits at an, uh, just sort of on your ankle on average height person. V. That's why it's called the V Pant. It has a little V at the back. That's at the back of the lip. Mm. Yes. Cute, yeah? It's yeah, just a simple cute. pull on. Oh, yeah. That's right. We've, we've talked about the check now. Okay. 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 okay, then there's this with the, the this one. Oh, that's right. We yeah. have to pull that apart. Okay. Awesome. So again, similar. No, I thought the other way. This underneath that, and then you can see well, the plate. Right. Yeah, we well, could do both. Right. Absolutely. Because we haven't actually showed everyone. I don't think what a V-neck looks like with the blogger underneath. So we'll do both. Do you want to hold this part, sure. of Jane? Actually, yeah. Oh, you do it that way too. Well, so first. One example, and you'll get the gist of the cup hanging out, etc. Right? But yeah. This nice. is what a V-neck looks like. So Very it looks pretty. just as good. Even if you've got like queen jumpers from, from our winter season, which are all sold out now, this shirt looks really good under those. So pretty. And it's great. And I actually like the fact that that's split there. You know, I think that sort of gives it a bit more style as well. Don't you think, Warren? Right, now we're back. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, where is the, yeah so how are we going to do this? I this thought one, just this one's down over that, yeah? Yeah. Just all the ways you, you know, you need to experiment because often you buy something and you know the one way that you bought it. And then you don't ever think about it again. You just wear it like that all the time. So we're really hope, hopefully enlightening you into experimenting a bit. And oh, I need to undo some. I need to undo some. And then we've got to work out what we're doing with the so, arm. So if something's got buttons on it, you want to make the most of it. I mean, that's the whole point. I think buttons. The buttons. Yeah, buttons kind of add another dimension if you know how to do it. But I feel like as well, it's, like if it's a soft, woven fabric, you kind of get a little bit more in there too. If you've got like a cotton shirt, you might not get as much. What am I doing here, Lauren? This one? Yeah. Is that I'll, what you're doing? I'll, yeah. I don't know what you've I'll, done. We've got one side. That's sure not done. Okay. <laughs> Let's just leave it like that. <laughs> no, guys. Right. Jane, Jane's Jane. got a broken arm. Yeah. She's currently we in broke a arm. Yeah, yeah, that's really yeah, nice. That's so it? pretty. Have a look. And that's the way of judging something up. You've got to use your armbands because otherwise it's not going to stay up there. But look, I've been wearing this jumper and shirt now for a while and I haven't had to play around with my sleeves whatsoever because I've got my armbands underneath. Yeah, armbands definitely. So you have your armband on the outside to hold it in place, I think. But you're cool. You decide what works for you. We so played with dolls, yes. Yeah, I suppose. Did you like playing with dolls? Yes, of course you did. I did, didn't I? I, yeah, I can't sure. remember. I'm just going to show sure. you guys what a tie looks like. But my daughter likes playing with dolls. Yeah, yeah so we're assuming like we all love playing with dolls. I, I know, know I did. Although my daughter's now quite into, she's got one of those like really stretchy really nice. man dolls. Oh, it's actually, really, it's just pretty cool. Like it's like a, it's like she got it from one of her friends, oh, yes. yeah. and it stretches out forever. And I'm like, oh, I'll go for the girly stuff. Oh, yeah, it's it's like, like a muscle she's man. A, she's a real girly girl. She's like, a girl. Experiment yeah. with boy stuff. Yeah. That's right. Right. <laughs> All right. Have a boy moment, will you? All right. Anyway, so that's what that looks like with the knot. So it looks awesome. I think it can be quite a chunky kind of style. Yeah, like, I've got to get this. This thing handy. She's not right with an amputated arm. There you go. Much nicer. She's I like cool that. There. See, that is just as cool as the outfit I'm wearing. Don't you think? Yes, beautiful. Looks Look great. at that. Even with the white sensation. boots. What about with the white oh, boots? Yes, I love it with the white boots. There we go. So she cute. She looks hot. And with my boot, do you think? Amazing with your boot. Yeah, and your sneakers. Really cool. Yeah. And not only Amazing. that, you can probably even do. Oh, oh sorry. Right. Maybe we can change our pants. Yeah, even the slides. So good. All of these things. You know. Love that. Love yeah. that. Really cool. All right. So now, now I've got to take a little Yeah. Like, how do people remember how how things go? Like with the right shoe, I find that if I have um, all my photos on Instagram, because that way, I sometimes I look back and I say, now what shoe did I wear with this? Because it looked a little bit I can't remember. You've got to have some sort of system yourself of yeah. putting it all together and taking a pic, <clears throat> having a record of it. Now. I can't exactly remember what the app is called. Oh, that's right. There is an I app, think it's, I'm not that clever. I think it's called Stylebook. And Karen, if you're around watching right now, Raylene? Raylene told Karen about it because oh, I asked okay. Raylene to tell Karen. Da -da -da. Anyway, Karen or Raylene, if you're watching, I think it's called Stylebook. I think something. Anyway, something what you do is when you're buying something, you can either take a picture of the garment when you get it, you can save the image off the website or whatever, and then apparently, oh, there you are. 
Karen, hi. What was that app's name? Can't remember. So you st you style it all, and um, and also apparently Karen told me you can kind of mix up some of your outfits to give you new cool. outfit ideas. Cool. So it sounds amazing. Cool? I haven't downloaded it. I want to. Means you don't have to watch our lives. Never. Oh, yeah, no, get Never. Never. No, don't don't get do it. You've got to stop. Cancel that. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just going to pull out this because just what I want to show you that you think that these colours so look weird together. So they pretty. They don't. They just look pretty. All right, let's yeah. get some arms. Yeah. They're very, I mean, to me, they're very, I, I'm not pretty, but they're very inspiring mm -hmm. even to, to me. Yeah, but you do it with the shoe. You do your great yeah, combat boots. boots. That's right. And you just have the cuff or you turn oh, the cuff super back. Pretty. I won't undo the buttons just so that I can, it's easier, Okay. Hold that there. That's pretty. Yeah, really pretty. So you can see the difference in the colour there. Then you've got your little peekaboo at the neck. Or you can just have it all slouchy and sloppy like that. And then really really nice. nice. Yeah, and you do this pant under it for yeah, a casual. Yeah, really for nice. I just had that. another thought. Gorgeous. But I think that would also look amazing. Yes. With this as a long pant under it. Amazing. Amazing. Um, bag of pant. That's what it is. And the long one, that's what I was trying to think of. Mm. And you wear it under there. And how stylish is that? Look, it's so stylish. A totally different look altogether. Oh my God, altogether. I love that. It is beautiful. Absolutely. You probably wouldn't wear the belt. you just wear it as a pant. Yeah, yeah, be fine. definitely. But you stay on it, no worries. Yes. Now, Cheryl, this is probably a common question. Cheryl's saying I'm a 10. Would I buy the 12 because the blogger isn't stretch? If I would go your normal size. I'm a 10. Yeah. I'm wearing the 10. Faye's wearing the 10 in the shirt and to me it's big. It's probably a bit big. I, mean, I can show That's you right. again. Shall I take off my jumper? Yeah, you can, you can oh, take it off. Great outfit. What a yeah, shame. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But also, if you're particularly big in the bust and you're probably a 12 in the bust, that's when you may want to go for the bigger size. We adjust, we cater for something being non stretch. So when we're doing our fittings, we fit it on minimum five people before we approve anything. And if, if we fit a size 10 on five size 10s, if it's tight on someone and they're a 10, then we, we don't let it go through. We keep changing it so it fits. Okay. Should shut my hair again, ladies? Can't have that looking funny. And there we go. So you can see on Faye, it's a little bit on the bigger side. Mm. It's getting Not a large bust. Now. Okay, Cheryl, definitely go for the 10. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Go for I the mean, 10. I could button them all up, but no, that looks really, really ordinary to do it like that. I'm going to do this again. That's right. Yeah. And if it is just that little bit tight on the bust, then you just undo the, the top button. You see, it's got, I mean, the thing is, the whole point of having a button through as opposed to a blogger that just slips over, you've got all this room if you want. You just pop something on underneath. And you might say, oh, but I don't want to do that sometimes. But don't worry about it for those days. Do something different. Mm -hmm. But look at that. That actually looks quite stylish if I needed more room for my big boobs, which I don't have. There yeah, you go. yeah. And I also find that often I'm finding I'm always wearing some sort of a cami under my shirts, even if it's summer and it's hot, I'm still going to wear a, the lightest weight cami. Can I just say, as summer comes, this is actually, look, what I'm wearing right now is actually a very high fashion look, but the youngies, like, I don't know, the 16 year olds, mm. maybe the 18 year olds, it's got to be of age, are wearing a sexy bra under this and wearing an open. Or like a crop top. Or wearing crop like a crop top with a few. we can do yeah. this. And a sports bra for the sexy one. That's right. And we can do this because we're stylish. We're a little bit more mature. I don't know what you would do. We're we'll sophisticated. Bra. I wouldn't do this. No, I wouldn't do a bra. Do. That's yeah. it. You do this. So the very young fashionistas will do those really strappy bras. But they've probably got small boobs anyway, so it doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, that's right. But this is how we wear it. They and it's have very children. stylish. So don't worry about wearing it just like an average shirt. You don't, mm -hmm. you don't want to do it. You're too good for that. It looks a bit funny otherwise. Look at that. If I just, oh, actually, maybe I should yeah, do, do that. Yeah, do it. Show, show it how most people may just try it on while I get Okay, this is out. really frumpy, okay? I'm not going to, this is how I'm not going to wear it. And this is what you're probably going to think as soon as you get home and you get your parcel, for those okay. people not watching our lives, they'll do For this. the people who don't know how to dress properly, okay, this is what they're going to do. They're going to say, oh, that doesn't look good. What am I going to do with that? Oh, look at this, look at that. Too big on the shoulders. It's got no style to it. So, but I would never, ever wear it like that. So why would I try it on like that? I would do exactly what I've been doing, shooting it up, wearing it all up. And you can I mean, I've made it conservative for those ladies who do want to be conservative. But you know what, I kind of wish I hadn't now. I wish I had left it really sexy. But then I and get you, a uh, complaint here and there. That's probably why but, I did it. But then you get you wear your sexy cami underneath. Like Faye, you don't even know that Faye's got a cami underneath this pink cami with the wide strap. Because you don't have to be showing your bra. I don't want to show my bra straps. I don't like that look. 
I like the look of being quite put together and stylized. You know, that's that's what I like. So you don't actually have to have all these things hanging out everywhere. That's right. You don't. I mean, you don't. When, as you get older, you kind of want to cover a bit of skin. I find that when I was young, I didn't mind flashing everything, but now it's like I'm a bit more conservative. And I think it's important that we want to be sophisticated. Mm. <clears throat> Maybe after the age of thirty, a bit more sophistication. I'm assuming. That's what I think. But I could be wrong. I'm just a fashion designer. No. <laughs> I'm not an engineer or a politician. What can yeah. I say? Okay. okay. Yeah. Let's... So that's yeah. That's cool. All right. Let's get this girl sorted out. Yeah, she looks cool. Can you hold she's, Jane? She's a cool girl. Jane isn't isn't quite ready. So Jane's wearing her blouse underneath, however she wants to wear it. So in a way, you're doing what I'm doing, but without a canic, with another oh, yes. with a shirt. Oh, that's okay. it. Oh, just, hang on. What have we done? What's going on here? Okay. I I twisted her. Is there, she still like this? There she is. Yeah, there we go. So I'll hold that for you if you want to grab a pant and a whatever. Nice. So they've got the lilac underneath, and this is the everyday shirt, another winner that we've shown you quite a few ways. So you can do all the things with the everyday shirt that you can do with the blogger. They've got sort of the same contact, so you can tie, half tuck, front tuck, all that stuff. You can see that I think we did a video on how to wear a similar tone, didn't we? Did tone you? on tone, I yeah, think that was it, last Thursday. It was a fantastic video, we got a lot of good feedback on it. But you know what, it's really stylish and this is just a way of keeping your wardrobe neat and really stylised. And you can still wear them separately. And I wonder, under that as well. Even if you have that, ooh, like, ooh, pretty, oh, these nice. pretty colours, oh, it's, too, it's a bit long. It won't be, though, no, it's because the straps are, the straps are made long. Oh, the straps are made long. Yeah. Put them oh. here. So our power cami does have adjustable straps and you can make it actually quite short. I made this short just so you can get the, the idea of, you know, the coverage at the boob and you, you can see this, you know, you can see quite a bit of this. If I was going to wear it on its own, maybe I might have them much lower. Well, I remember. <laughs> Last year I had something like this and it kept on dropping. <laughs> And by the time I got home, it was really low and I thought, oh, that's a bit too sexy for, for me. Lucky we work in a fashion company, right? Yeah, that's you right. A lot of things. You can say and do a lot of things that you normally wouldn't. Is that cute? Yeah. Actually, I'd undo this button. Yeah, it's a bit too... She's, she's a bit slumped up. back, Jane, right yeah, now. There she's you not go, quite that's right. better. And then you so do the funky pants. You know what, that's the epitome of wearing the blouse look this year. 100%. Yeah, you want to fine tune your eye into how things are new. That's tied a bit high, admittedly, but it doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. If you're going to wear it, you do something like this. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, nice, huh? So nice. And, and we've got the pinks, the lilacs, pants. and then you do any of your monochrome pants. You know, yesterday we were saying you need a monochrome pant in your wardrobe. Because you've got all your planes and they're all tonal and they're looking very sharp, then you can go for a bit of fun down the bottom. Very stylish. Or oh, just even a jean. A jean would look amazing. Okay, we unravel her now. We've got the dress and the jacket still to go. I think we can unravel. Okay, we're that almost was nice. there, guys. We're almost okay, there. Put her together. There. And oh, yeah. Okay, I can pull these apart. We want this blouse. This is what it's about. This is okay. what we need. Go back right. there. So now, we need it. We've done, oh, we we done, done the dress. dress. Okay. Yeah, we just need the jacket. Oh, sorry. Okay, the jacket. So I throw the jacket on her. This is just a really good match. You know when there's like two things that are made for each other? And yeah. we will eventually we... do a live on things that are just like if you have one. In like... fact, that's a good live. We should do that tomorrow if we can get it together. Yeah, we'll try. We'll, we'll try. We'll, we'll try that today because we're going to make for each other. Yeah. Like a husband and wife. Yeah. Like a mother and daughter. Like a mother and daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like a father and son. Yeah. Okay. I oh, know, like me and a Porsche. Now we're going. Okay, like me and a Porsche. That's much more sexy, isn't it? <laughs> like me and my new Gucci handbag. <laughs> All right? Just mate. No, you and your motto outfit. Yeah, yeah, That's me and my motto outfit. You and your motto outfit. outfit. Yeah. That's a good one. Oh, I like that. Look at that. That's yeah. cool. I like that. Really That's nice. Really I'll come nice. up close to you guys and see oh, the colours. Me too. I'll come up close to you. So you can see, actually, that needs to be down here. Do you want to lift it up a bit? So you can see underneath how how they all go together. That's better. You kind of need to see the whole lot together. Can you see the pants as well? These are made for each other. I love this with the pants. Perfect match. Beautiful. Perfect match. Beautiful. Um, oh, now, I think we're doing enough of this. I don't know. I don't know. Put that in there because that's gorgeous. I mean, would that look beautiful with this outfit? So beautiful. Don't worry about the fact this is black and that's navy. Those are the old rules. These look really smart together because then you know what you do with this outfit? Can you hop that one? Gold slides? Yes. How did you so know? Really That's just so mind. perfect. Look at that with gold slides. So nice. How sophisticated. We're walking Absolutely. straight off, off the catwalk in Milan. You know totally, what I mean? Totally. This is so sophisticated. Straight, this is like straight off your private jet, I'm thinking. Oh, thank you. Private this is a bit jet. of a private New jet York, From New York yeah, to, yeah. to Milan. All right. Okay. Private jet. We like that. That's yeah. good fun. I think I'm watching too many shows. <laughs> I'm watching too many shows. I'm watching too many shows. Love it. Love it. You know how I've been like, like this is just something funny.
I'm totally off topic. Yeah. I've been watching Homeland a lot. I've been watching it so much. The other night I had a dream that I was in the CIA. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I so woke up in the CIA. Oh my Actually, God. After, after watching Homeland, I got a little bit, this is going back a few years, no, a few years, two months, I got so into it that after that I could only watch spy type shows. Oh, really? I'm probably doing that. I, I am the spy. I've finally broken make. away from that and now we're just watching love type things, which is great. I need a bit of love. <laughs> after watching that, I'm, my brain will go, Rrr. anyway. Oh, okay, it's been done. done. Yeah, I hope you liked it today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's this about down dog? You've done it. It's done. Oh, you did see Faye's downward dog, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah. Everyone would have seen my downward dog. Otherwise, go back and just check it out. My bum was in a funny position, but I did it. And also, my jump was all over my head just about. That's all right. It's okay. I can do all these poses, all right? Okay. So, I hope you guys got some ideas on how to wear the new blogger. It yeah. is an absolute winner. We love it. Get on to it, you guys, and I'm the first. And I suppose we'll see you tomorrow with some very yeah, snazzy theme. Don't we're, miss it. No, we're not, we don't know yet. So yeah, we're just going to win. We'll, we'll, we'll wing it, we'll wing it, and, and you'll enjoy it, yeah? Yeah, you'll just enjoy it. Just put it out there, you'll enjoy we're it. We're saving the best to last. Yay! Yeah, that's what we do for Fridays. <laughs> do we have a bit silly on Thursday? What are we going to be like by tomorrow? I yeah, don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I think it's because... Um, Josh Lauren's husband took Sterling, so we don't have him now. Oh, yeah, we don't have So our mind is going to be, we can chill, we can relax now. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> All right, everybody, ladies, bye. We'll see, see you tomorrow. Bye.